You see, if your faith is weak, if you don't believe God yet, you're going to know in the waiting because what comes out of your heart will reveal where you're at. So waiting is not bad. And God will delay to test us, to try us, to see, to grow us. There's a purpose in the waiting. The problem is what we do with the waiting. Do you build idols in your life? Point number three is that choosing to worship an idol instead of the Lord will always, we're talking about revival, will always stand in the way of revival. Now, some of you are going, Phew. Thank God, not me. I don't not have any idols in my house, you know. And, and to you, idols is that, that little Buddha when you see when you go into a Chinese restaurant and you're like, nope, not in my house. We don't even have icons. Like, you're like, I don't do any of that. I got saved out of it. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. And if you're here and you've been in church for any amount of time, I'm sure by now you are familiar with what an idol is. Is anything that you worship in the place of God. An idol is anything or anyone that you place in your heart above your love and worship of God. Our life is full of idolatry all of the time. In my book, Thrive, I have a chapter on idolatry. That whether you're single or not, the book is for singles. And the second half of the book is so pointed for anybody who has struggled with disappointment in your life. And in the waiting, there's disappointment. So every one of us has gone through seasons of disappointment. In the chapter on idolatry, I sort of sum up what an idol is. And I say, whatever you think you'll, will make you happy. If I have this, I'll be happy. That's an idol. Whatever you think, man, I cannot live without that. If I don't have that, you fill in the blank, I will never be happy. It could be a job. It could be a ministry position. It could be a... Uh, it could be a guy, it could be a girl, it could be anything in your life. You're like, if that doesn't happen, I'm not gonna be happy. You have an idol problem. Listen, daily you've got to screen your heart. This is why David prayed, search me, O oh God, and know me. Paul talks about examining yourself to see if you're in the faith, but just to see where am I with the Lord? What has taken the a ministry can become an idol. A good thing can become an idol. God, if you don't fix this, I'm not gonna be happy. That has become more important to you than God. And while it's okay to wrestle with God, there's a point where you've got to stop. And like David say, God, my expectation is from you. 